everyone, Jay Shri Madhaji. It's great to have you all here at the moment or maybe later. Let's do um, Namaskar together. When we do Namaskar, put your Agnya on the earth and stretch your arms forward as much as you can, if that's possible, with the hand palms up and you will feel the cool vibrations. And then we put ourselves in Bandhan, we raise a Kundalini and put ourselves in Bandhan. So let's do that together now. तीन महामंत्र ओ
just be in silent meditation for a few minutes. Let's do from our heart the 16 names of Sri Radha Krishna. Sri Radha Krishna ke solah naam. Sri Radha Krishna. Om Tvami Vasakshat. Sri Radha Krishna Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Vithal Rukmini Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Vithal Rukmini Sakshat Shat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Govidampati Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Govidampati Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Gupta Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Gupta Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Govinda Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Govinda Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Gopati Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Gopati Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Amerikeshwar Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Amerikeshwar Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Yashoda Nandana Om Tvami Vasakshat Shri Yashoda Nandana Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti 
माताजी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री विष्णु माया भ्राता ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री विष्णु माया भ्राता साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री गोगोप संघावृत ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री गोगोप संघावृत साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री विराटांगना विराट ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री विराटांगना विराट साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री बालकृष्ण ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री बालकृष्ण साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री शिखंडी ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री शिखंडी साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः नरकांतक ओम त्वमेव साक्षात नरकांतक साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री महानिधि ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री महानिधि साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः श्री महारद ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री महारद साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः
I will now put on the, the talk of Srimadhyay and after that uh, we do just silence. So there's no music after. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you here and so that I don't have to talk after Srimadhyay's talk. And everybody have a wonderful day and just finish off in your own time and, um, and enjoy. शुद्धि चक्र शुद्धि चक्र नाउ व्हेन वी हैव अवर विशुद्धि प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव टू नो व्हाट आर द डीटीज ऑन बोथ द साइड्स एंड व्हाट वर देयर क्वालिटीज व्हिच आर लैकिंग इन अस दैट्स व्हाई वी आर वी आर सफरिंग लेट्स सी द राइट साइड विशुद्धि व्हेन वी कैच Shri Krishna's essence is sweetness, Madhurya, Madhurya, and his power was Radha, Radha's energy, Dham is the one who has sustained the energy, and her power was she was called as Allad. Allad means joy giving qualities she had. So Shri Krishna's qualities were that he was Yogeshwara, so he was the witness. and sweetness now a person who shouts and screams and talks loudly and loses his temper in a very loud voice or who speaks very loudly all the time they all suffer from the right vision so one should understand that even when you have to scold somebody You have to just say, "What are you doing? Why are you doing like this?" Otherwise, why do you oh like this? Finished. I do it. Over. It's finished. So, for the right wish, we use the mantra of Vithala and the Kumai. These two persons. You see, it is very significant that also, because they say that there was a Pundari Kaksh, one boy who was serving his parents. and his parents were sleeping he was pressing their feet when vitala and his power rakhumai rukmini they appeared on in the door but he said now keep quiet my parents are sleeping so you stay there so he had one brick near him which he threw and asked them you stay on that so they kept quiet they kept quiet because they are sleeping Now this is the thing is on the right side if you are talking loudly if you talk too much uh if you uh, intimidate people with your talking then you catch on right vishuddhi so for that best is to take some rest and give some rest to your right vishuddhi by stopping your talk Go into Mauna. They said, just don't talk. For some time, if you don't talk, you will see that your vishuddhi will be improved, your problems will be improved. So, as it is the right side, what happens is that the heat starts coming from the stomach. It's all in one play. The from the we can say not from the stomach, but actually from the liver. The heat starts rising. It first goes into right heart. as a result you might become a very hot tempered husband or a father or something you might get asthma anything with that right heart then it passes on to your right vishuddhi when it goes to your right vishuddhi then you become a very irritable hot tempered person all the time you shout at someone nobody can talk to you if somebody has to talk to you he has to use a barge pole in between mm. god knows what time he'll shout at you mm. or maybe i have seen many women lose their hearing or men lose their hearing when there is somebody who is shouting at them so shouting is a very bad thing for others and also for yourself because of course your vishuddhi goes out after some times so your voice goes out after some time you cannot talk 
and sometimes they have to just keep quiet. But for others, it's even worse, because if you use your uh, anger in that manner, then that person might be just frightened of you, might develop inferiority complex, might become a left-sided person, uh, might catch some boots. God knows what can happen to a person who has somebody all the time shouting at him. But the worst physical thing could be that he can become deaf. So from Sri Krishna's life, one has to learn that how he would just play his flute and the whole atmosphere used to become absolutely quiet without any ripple of any trouble, any idea of disturbance, just peaceful. But in modern times, the other way now, they have the music where the right Vishuddhi is about to break or burst, I don't know what sort of music it is. When they listen to this music, see, then it excites. Then it excites you. It doesn't make you peaceful. It excites you, excites you more and more. But as Sri Krishna becomes Virata, your limbic area also gets numbed with it. And when this shouting music is too much, then they have to use loudspeakers and shout much more. Then they have to put something near the ear to hear something. Otherwise, they have no excitement. All the exciting, uh, we can say, all the exciting uh, uh, sense become numbed. And you have to really go in for tremendous effort to create that excitement in those numbed cells. So it's very dangerous throughout. If you see that it starts from the liver, goes to the cells, uh, right heart, then to Vishuddhi, and then in the brain. So then you take to drugs because your brain is numbed out. So you take to drugs, and when you take to drugs, uh, then you feel that you are all right. Then again, you feel that this drug is not sufficient, then you take stronger drugs, then you take more drugs, it goes on one after another, ultimately it reaches a stage when you are nowhere. <clears throat> so it is all self-destructive. <coughs> I am also using my right wish with it too much. <laughs> So on the right Vishuddhi, you have to learn to have mauna, means silence. Those who think, who are very dominating, who are talking in a very dominating manner, whose right Vishuddhi is catching, should become silent and should, at least for some time, should not talk at all. Maybe you might fix one day, Say you can do it on a, say, I'll not talk on Monday. But supposing Monday you have to work, so you should say, I'll not talk on Sunday. But human beings are such that if they decide they will not talk on Sunday, then Sunday they'll talk the most. <laughs> and this shouting and then intimidating people, you have no right. You have no business to shout at anyone whatsoever. What is the need to shout? After all, you are a human being, another one is a human being. God has not given anyone, whether it is a husband, wife, children or anyone. But I find these days even children shout, the mother shouts, the father shouts. If you go in the house, you feel like running back because you'll hear nothing but shouts. So this, this kind of a family system will rock, completely finish that family and there will be no beautiful relationship between 
each other and between the other people. Sometimes you can say the whole country is having nothing but shouting at one and shouting at another. All over you go, you find nothing but shouting. Even if you take your car a little bit this side, there will be a shouting. The slight, I mean, for the slightest excuse, they start shouting and spoiling their right to shoot them. Now, for politicians, the thing is the best way to shout because they can really impress people by their shouts. So they shout a lot, tell people this, that, when they speak, you should hear, there's no sweetness in their tongue, nothing of the kind. But they shout, and by shouting, a person gets frightened, all right. You want the vote, we'll give you, but don't shout. That's how many people get elected and become big and think that they are very successful because they have been shouting. Then they have training for shouting, and they go in for a higher and higher education in shouting. How to shout, how to, how to uh, intimidate people by the loud voices. For Sahaja Yogis, it doesn't behold. Sahaja Yogi has to be a very sweet person to talk. Extremely sweet. Now, 